What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. And in today's video, I'm really excited because we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the new Mandalorian and Child. That's right. I'm excited for this figure. Um, it actually dropped this week. And I was very fortunate to uh, actually be able to find one at Target. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's it's a cool figure for me for two reasons. Uh, number one, Mandalorian. Number two, I I don't have a child figure. I don't. I have, I didn't buy the Black Series one. Um, I do have one from Mission Fleet, but I just. I figured at some point we was going to get a two pack. We did. So there's no sense in spending the nine bucks and then have another one. Uh, but I, before I even open this box, I do have some concerns that I, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to like it without the helmet. I'm just saying, I've, I've seen some of the photos, the glam shots. Um, I don't know if Dan's, Head sculpt's gonna look good. Then the jarring, I think that's how you, how you pronounce it. I know I butcher names, so I don't know. Uh, I can already see some stuff just in the packaging. If you tilt it, you can actually see his chin right there. Which, guess what? We can't see chins in the Mandalorian TV show. So why do we see chins here? Um, so I don't know. Maybe they should have done. I don't know. Again, I ain't even opened it up. I'm already nitpicking. Um, but here we go. Let's let's get the box out of the way right there. It's a beautiful box presentation. Got some great uh, graphics and storyline on the back. I am really digging this slope on the box. Um, I've already made the conscious decision that every single figure that I get that has this new format of boxes, I will be keeping the boxes. Because when you line all the boxes up, it makes a really cool little shelf presentation. So even if you collect out a box, you can put them to the back of your shelf and this would look really good in the background. So I'm, I'm going to be extra careful with, with my boxes. So, uh, yeah, I guess the next thing we got to do is get this out of the box. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get it out of the box and, uh, we'll start the review. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I've already got it out of the uh, the clamshell. Uh, some of the accessories that it comes with, uh, they're actually really cool. Um, we've got the uh, child accessories right here, or Drogu. Did I say that right? <laughs> um, we got the Mandalorian, and we do have some uh, other stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and start with... Um, this Beskar or pieces right here. The, the details on them are really good. I actually left them on the tape just because, uh, I mean, you, these will get lost if you're not careful, but you do have five, five of these, which is really cool. Uh, we also comes with the locator right there. Again, a very small piece. So, yeah, these these pieces will definitely, if you're going to lose anything, these will be the first ones to lose. Um, we'll go with this blaster next. Uh, it's a little too, it's a little too shiny for me, um, to be honest with you. I think it's just a little, it's a little bit too much. I actually have my Mando right here. So let me pull his blaster out. Um, so, yeah. So with the six scale blaster compared to, you know, the black series, it's just a little too, a little too silver for me. Uh, I'll definitely probably put a little bit of a wash on it just to dull it down a little bit, but Hey, it is what it is. I'm okay with it. Uh, his main blaster rifle, very cool looking piece. It actually looks really good. Uh, the paint on it looks great. So I, I don't have any 
any complaints with uh, with the with the ri rifle, the blaster rifle. Uh, he also comes with the jetpack, which um, it could use a little bit of of I don't know, a little bit of weathering as well. Uh, I'm anxious to see how this fits together with the uh, the way the cape is uh, on the Mandalorian figure. Uh, we're going to save uh, Gro Groku, the child. We're going to save this for, for just a second. Um, no, we're not. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to move, I'm going to move Mando over here. Uh, the actual child figure, um, as I throw him on the table right there, looks really good. I mean, overall, let me know in the comments if you picked up the black series, uh, figure because i'm curious especially if you get this this set right here how it compares is it the same one because like i said earlier i never picked up the black series version so i have no idea i did notice something that i thought was pretty neat uh he's got feet <laughs> he's got feet uh i truthfully was not expecting that so um that's that's a nice little touch the uh the figure looks it looks good. I mean, there's it looks really cool. I mean, you're you're definitely not going to get any any kind of articulation uh, with the figure, but hey, he stands up on his own pretty good. Uh, the one thing I did want to talk about um, is the prim. So we've got the clear base right there, which that's pretty cool. But the prim itself is. Um, Excuse me, Mando. It looks good. It's a really good looking piece. Um, yeah. It's other than it's just a little too clean, but that's okay. Um the coloring of it is uh the paint looks great. It's it's neat. But here's the little tip is how do you get it open? And um uh, yeah, I was trying to figure that out. And there's definitely a crack right here. And I actually have a little screwdriver that I used. But I think once you open it one time, it actually gets a little easier. But you just take your fingernail or a little screwdriver and just do that right there. Whoops. There we go. And that little cover pops right off like that. Uh, the inside of the prim looks really, it's cool. I mean, it's got some good detail to it. Um, the only thing about it is back here in the back, there's nothing There's nothing back there. I'll probably put some kind of fabric piece, um, black or something, just to fill in this void to make it look a little bit, I don't know, just, just to where you don't have to see the plastic itself. Uh, but it actually pops in like so. And the child, Groku, the, the, that's a, I mean, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't really, that's about it. I mean, he, he, he's got to rest up against the back of it because of the slant right here. So the only, the only way you can actually put him in here is to put him all the way to the back like that, which now you've got all this dead, this negative area which I, I I don't like it. I I'm, I don't like it at all. It's, it's just too much dead space right here. And I mean, and the way the pose is, you can't lay him down because it doesn't make sense. So yeah, that's, that's a, it looks good like this, but I think you definitely are going to have to do something to help just sort of hold him in place if that makes sense but there's what he looks like right there uh yeah he's he's the child <laughs> all right let's get the mando all right so mandalorian figure um excuse me groku you're gonna go over here mandalorian figure itself looks great um the paint the weathering on the figure. 
Uh, the only thing I've noticed so far is the thigh plate right here is the only battle damage I'm seeing. And I don't know. That's a little bit, that's a little, eh. If you're going, if you're going to have battle damage, why would you have it just in one spot? Nothing else. Um, I do like the fact on the pauldron, you've got this, the logo right there, which is really cool. Um, the, the cape, it's, it's, it reminds me of cables. There's a lot of movement here, but like I said, jetpack uh, back here, I'm not 100% sure how all of this is going to play in effect. So I don't think we'll be able to use the uh, the cape with the jetpack. We'll play with that in a little bit. But for now, let's look at the figure. Um, as far as articulation goes, we should have some decent articulation. Should we take the helmet off now? Should we take the helmet off now? Or wait? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it off. Let's see how, let's see how easy it comes off. It's, uh, it's snug. The helmet is snug. It, it, it is soft. So you can, you can actually squeeze it. Um, but I mean, it's, it's nice. It's, it's, a it's definitely, uh, it's definitely cool the way the actual Mandalorian helmet comes off. All right, I'm going to look at this first because um, the head sculpt, I'm going to go ahead and take this off as well because we truthfully don't need this at the moment. We don't need the cape right now or, or his cloak or whatever you want to call it. All right, so there's the head sculpt. It's a good head sculpt. It's just, we've never seen the Mandalorian without the helmet. He's not supposed to take his helmet off. I'm okay with this, but the fact that this neck area right here, and the fact when you put the helmet on him, you can actually see the chin. Um, I'm not a big fan of that because the helmet itself is just, it's just not deep enough. You can, cause you can see the bottom of his chin right there. And I don't know. That's just, that's just me right now. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at the figure itself. Uh, we've got great head movement side to side. Chin up going back. It's not too bad. So that's cool. I'm I'm curious. I don't think we're going to get some good. No, we're not. We're not going to get good shoulder articulation, and that's because of the pauldron armor. In this situation, it'd be nice to actually have like a pullout uh, on the shoulder, so you could actually get that shoulder up, which translates to the elbow and the wrist. So when it comes to actually using the blaster rifle, getting it up here and getting a good pose might be difficult. So. That's it for his shoulder right there. Elbow-wise, oh, wow, really? Single joint elbow? Wow. Single jo joint elbow. That's it right there, 90 degrees. I'm going to have to get my other Mandalorian out and look at it. Was it single jointed? That one goes up a little further. Hang on. Sometimes you twist it. Nope. So it's it's a little past 90. A little past 90. So, but yeah, wow. Okay. I'm okay with it. You can still do some good stuff with it. Uh, Wrist-wise, standard wrist pivots, rotations, nothing, uh, nothing new there. All right. As far as his abs... The torso twist, it's uh, its a little snug, and that is due to this shoulder strap right here. So turning him to the right is actually good. 
Coming back to the left is moderate, but still okay. Ab crunch is null and void. <laughs> that's, that's it. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's definitely that's that's all he's got for his ab crunch and lower back right there. So it's still doable. Uh, as far as his hips goes, I don't think. I'm going to go and speculate. I don't think much is going to come out of the hips, but I was, I was wrong. There you go. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I actually figured that this right here and his holster would actually interfere with it. Speaking of his holster, Okay, so the flap does not, the flap strap does not come off, which means that might be interesting. There we go. So to put the pistol in, slide it in from the back, boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's that's not bad. Let's check out his knees. What do we got knee-wise? Good double-jointed knee right there. So we got great knee articulation. Uh, ankles, yeah. Normal, got some good, got some great side to side pivots, so we should be able to get him in some really good uh poses. But as far as the actual overall look of the figure with the paint and everything, it looks good. I mean, it really does look good. I mean, other than this battle damage here and none anywhere else, that's the only part that uh. I'm a little, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. It, it To me, this takes, a, it draws your eye to here. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking at the figure, your eye will naturally draw to this compared to anything else. But that is a really good detail right there on that pauldron. But, all right, guys, I'll tell you what, I am going to... Um, let's put the let's put the jet pack on. So... We do have three points. We got a hole. We got two squares right there. So it looks like it almost looks like the uh, this one hole in the belt right there should line up with his back, but it really doesn't. So I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit just to see. Oh, there's one. Okay, so what you got to do is you got to bend him back and slide that over and then line it up right there. All right, let's, uh, let's get that pegged in. Boom. There we go. There's the there's the jetpack right there. Which brings me to this. Okay, so this this I have issue with. But I mean there's really no way to utilize there's no way to utilize his his cape with the jetpack on. That's 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 unfortunate. That really is unfortunate right there because you should be able to, and if this was a soft good, you could at least pull it around and, you know what I'm saying, put it behind the, the, the jet pack like it's supposed to be. So, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. So, um, a soft good cape and the jet pack would have been a perfect combination, but unfortunately, or even some, uh, you could have simulated some tears uh, in the cape itself. And I, that's what I may do with mine is figure out a way to uh, actually have this on. And I mean, that to me, that looks better than without to me, you know? I don't know. That's just my speculation. So I tell you what, guys, um, 
let me get all this stuff figured out and I'll see if I can get him posed up and I'll come back and uh, give you my final thoughts on the uh, Mandalorian and uh, the child Black Series set. So I'll be right back. All right. So here it is. Uh, Din Djarin and Gro Groku, Gro whatever, the child. <laughs> um, overall, this is a cool set. It's a cool set to have. Like for me personally, like I said earlier, I never picked up the uh, Black Series child figure that, you know, was nine, ten bucks. So um, for this to come out as basically a two pack, I think that's really cool. Um, I do have issues. Um, the issues that I have are. They're not big. They're not. I don't think they're huge issues. But the first issue I have is the actual the prim. As you can see, if you're just going to display it like this, uh, it works. But it's there's too much of a a gap. In other words, whenever you see uh, the child in the prim, he's a lot more towards the front. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do anything with uh, with that. Um, but it is a little tippy. And like I said earlier about putting some fabric in the back of the prim, once you get the child in it, you can't see back. But I still think it'd be a good idea maybe take some uh, black t-shirt material, put in there just to give it a little bit of uh, padding, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice. There's nothing wrong with it. The two-piece part of it, I get it. Uh, that does give you options, which is cool. So it can be a little tricky to to take off, but no big deal. Um, the 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 range or the uh, the actual finder piece is cool. It'd be nice if there was a place to actually put that on his belt. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, the uh, pieces of best car, that's that's okay. I truthfully, I'm just going to bag those up. I'll probably never use them for anything. The biggest problems I think I have is honestly, uh, I thought it would be the head sculpt, even though I don't really think it was necessary, but it's, it's cool. Uh, maybe that's a premonition that one day we will see, you know, the Mandalorian without his helmet. But as you can see the way I've got it posed up, you know, him holding his helmet, that's a nice little uh, pose. The jet pack and the cape, that is my biggest complaint, is I really wish that the cape and the jet pack could have been used together. I wish we could have put, I wish that this would have been a soft good, because if it was a soft good, you could put the jet pack on, you could have pulled the cape around on the left side, tucked it behind it, it would have been so much better looking in my opinion. Um, but unfortunately, you can't use both. Um, and I think that's, I think that's a, that's a, that's sad in a way because I think it would just look so much better if it had a, a soft good cape and you could have utilized both of them. Uh, as far as paint goes, paint is great. Um, like I said earlier, the one thigh piece that has damage on it and scarring and chipping, you know, I get it. The, the best car armor, I, I get that. But, you know, it'd be nice to have a little bit of, you know, just a little bit. Um, and the blaster itself, it's two silver. Uh, as I showed you earlier with the, the six scale blaster, um, this one's just two silver. It does not, it does not go with the figure at all. It does not even go good with the actual blaster rifle. I think they should have painted the pistol to match the paint on the blaster rifle, which would have been really close to this right here. And I think that would have made it look good. As you can see, when it comes around, you can see that, that chrome just pop in that holster. So I will be definitely uh, repainting my blaster. Um, I did notice something else too. Uh, the actual holster of the blaster does actually come off. It actually un unpins right here. 
I will tell you this, it is a pain to try to get this to pin back in. Um, I have sort of been successful with it, but uh, yeah, it's it's a pain. <laughs> it, it is a pain to get pinned back in. Um, but yeah, other than that, will you stand up back there? Yeah, I'm going to put your helmet right there. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a great set. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the set as he falls off the little turntable. <laughs> oh, he ain't, even, he ain't even liking that no more. Um, but definitely let me know in the comments if you pick this up as I try to get him to stand back up again. Boom! There we go. Um, let me know if you picked it up. Let me know your thoughts on this set. Overall, I think it's a great set. It comes with a ton of stuff. You can have some fun with it. Um, yeah. I don't like the helmet because you can see the chin in this upper part right here. Uh, the helmet should have been a hair deeper, and that would have uh, really helped that a lot. Um but again, that's sort of a nitpicky thing. That's not like a deal breaker at all. Um, but I'm glad I picked it up. I think it's a great two-pack. And that's what I'm going to call it, a two-pack. Because we got Groku, we got Din Djarin. So, uh, yeah, let's just call it for what it is. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited I picked it up. But, guys, that's going to be it for this unboxing and review of this awesome uh, Black Series two-pack. Uh, like I said earlier, definitely let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you picked it up. If you have any, if you have any complaints about it, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, like I said, my observations are just mine, but I would love to hear anything you guys have to say, positive or negative, regarding this. But uh, that's it, guys. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, please make sure and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. And I think we're done. Yeah, this is the awkward silence part. While we wait for it to come back around, you know, so I can say, always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see y'all next time.